Hello, beta testers. If you like these, like, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see, and I'll try to mix it up. Today I wanted to explore some art that I was going to be generating through Stable Diffusion. And I was submitting prompts specifically trying to alter and then sort of craft the right outfit for Harley based on what I had in mind. I unfortunately did not set out to imply that pretty much everything that I would be putting in might come out better looking than anything that would be in suicide. You like this one? Yeah, I really do. I think this one should be higher. Yeah, I'm going to be here with Dia. You think this should be higher? I told her that I was associating them in an order based on kind of worst to best, but admittedly there were so many that I knew that if I were making a tier list with all of my images that it would just be a waste of time. So what I was saying before is I didn't want to imply all of these are going to be better than what's going to be in that game, which is very amusing because you know they mean to make money off their cosmetics. But instead of going Street Fighter, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy route, the near games, anything that's successful, Hideo Kojima, you know, just want to design an attractive woman. They got to go that route and then hope to get money out of us, which is so strange. I don't know why Fortnite and Genshin can be free and have attractive women, but you know that pretty much everything I'm going to be showing you here. It's just going to give a little more than anything you'd see in that game. And when they want you to pay to look a certain way, surely you'd go better instead of middle of the road. But even in a multiverse where you can have all kinds of variations and styles and takes, you like this one? Yeah, that's right. I was going for a fantasy thing, but, you know, some of them just... I can't get them to, uh, uh, and I'm going to talk about this as well, which is a big thing that I think uh, they should consider, are gender-bent heroes, man. Give a guy version of Harley. Give a give a chick version of these other characters. I remember Marvel Heroes allowed you to just take Spider-Man and switch him to a Spider-Gwen skin. I don't even know if they had the voice lines, but, you know, you could grab an intern, you know, just have her grunt. Ah, oh, ah. You know what I mean? Do the do the girl version of a come on. But then when but then when they talk, it's it's um. It's the so other actor, yeah. yeah. For the cutscenes, even yeah. funnier. We can turn your game into Saints Row. You should you should really meme that if you were in on the joke. Unlike Marvel's Avengers, which just sucked, which you really got to distance yourself from. You like that toothpaste hair on that one? It's trying to make a it's <laughs> trying to make an elf in this Mint, one. Minty, well, fresh. I mean, you wanna. I really like this elf. Haru's gonna love this one. You like when I say Haru name like that now? Yeah, instead of Haru. I'm 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 trying to be the new Scooby Doo because you know apparently they just like they'll make anybody a black person in a cartoon these days. Let's not make this about you know. Oh my God, these are way too low. Yeah, I meant to put. Well, the best are supposed to be at the end, but I got yeah. They, these were the thumbnails. These were the thumbnail images. They were that good. I'm not going to reposition them, you know? Man, I spent so much time watching my GPU heat up. You know what I'm talking about while I'm trying to get these done. But uh, I feel, oh, I was trying to go for the Warhammer 4K, 40K here, where I love the bars on the outside of this, where it's almost like her nipples are pierced, but it's on the clothes. And those kind of look like shoulder mounted. That one on the left, you know what I mean? Like the bottom part of that. Delicious. What a cute little. Is that like a dog belt? I was actually trying to get like a little, like, you know, like almost like in a circus kind of trapeze, at, like a, acrobatic type of. Oh man, I was giving it some weird prompt. I really like how the straps almost look like ribbons. Um, right here. That's a nice armor. I think at one point I was trying to work out some dripping and like kind of blood splatter or war paint. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Should have worked on the face. The face was struggling. That's fine too. Look at this one though. Look at the finish on the uh, on the breast piece. See that? Yeah, it's so shiny. <sighs> She's kind of young in this one, but I really wanted to keep the dress. But I think I even ended up refining it later towards a kind of Alice in Wonderland type thing, which is what I was going for. But I do love the red and white. This is kind of like a worse version of the ones I had before. <laughs> oh man, you had mentioned something about me reminding you of, uh, you talking about Alice in Wonderland, but I don't remember what you were supposed to talk about. Huh. 
Here I was trying to go for a baseball Harley, and she has like powers where she has like a hand coming out of her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Out of her ear. In this one on the right, she's you know it's the same portal technology where she's holding the bat low on the right hand. Yeah, get that fuck the fuck out of here. I like this one on the right a lot. I think that's just the best. And we'll never see something like that. These dudes too woke. They're so good. I love it. I love that one on the right. And the and the, the, the rules that they're following with like the palette, it's genius. Not bad. Not bad. Really not how, how does bad. it do it? How does it do it? I wonder ooh. Come on. It's a really with the right character. with the right physics, you're flipping around and like a Genshin character, you've got like the the sweetest little ass under there. That's just oh, oh you know what I mean. Don't even go too far. They could do the dress that uh, Margot Robbie wore in uh, the Suicide Squad. It would be so iconic. The James Gunn one. Yeah. Oh boy. Now nah, we're getting the David Ayer game. Uh, you understand? She looks so badass. Yeah. Like what, should we get a cowboy hair. hat, Harley? Chainsaw yeah, lollipop, girl. Harley? Okay. This is the refined iteration, especially the one on the left. I love that pose with um the Alice in Wonderland thing I was going for. And I remember I put this before the male Harleys because I was speaking about how they should just not even, you know what I mean? Just throw some gender bent version uh, versions of these characters in here. It's almost literally hilarious that um, he's in booty shorts. No, he's not even in the multiverse. In our main universe, they're trying to change all of the characters to black people and women. When you literally have a multiverse that you introduced, why can't you just bring other versions over this instead of like, having to make? We gotta make Superman black. We gotta make Batman black. It's just Joker's, like uh, Robin with how that sh outfit. Hmm. Yeah, he he looks like a oh no, like a Robin. oh. I think I what no? What do you mean? I had to pause the recording to understand what Dia meant. But what Dia's saying is, in that last one, he was dressed like Joker's Robin. If Joker wanted a man instead, that is exactly what he would I, look like. I wanna believe that it's a gender bent. Joker, so it's a lady Joker. No. And she wanted her Robin. Oh, then... oh, oh, okay. So that's kind of like a Harley. Oh, yes, yeah, a lady, and she wants a little. Oh, ooh, that's great. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. With gender bent Har Harley, that's I. I don't know why I've never thought of something that's cool as that. Yeah. Hmm. Like just gender bend everyone. <laughs> that's the idea that they've been having yep, yep. yeah this should give you billions what are you doing here you know I mean? <laughs> where's my money oh my god gotta be getting to the end because I'm starting I to like really really love better. these the pencil skirt one ignore the face on the left Woo. straight out of a manga you know straight a horror <laughs> Gee, oh. wow what I didn't, well, okay, you know, I, I don't have my soundboard right now, but I would normally play a clap noise, you know. <laughs> Just add it in later. Man, this this it really stuck, it stuck on this slide for a long time. I'm not trying to milk it. I, I don't know what I was, okay, well, hmm, well, what we'll never see in Rocksteady's game, they used to be so based, but then what happened, bro? Damn, how we gonna find people's balls to give them? The I saw, I showed this one to Dia before and she really liked it. Yeah. But then there was another one I expected her to be like, eh. And she loved that one more. So wait, wait till you see the next black one that Dia appreciates the most. I just love this one. It's so uniform. It's just clean. You know? It's cute. Properly clean. You can see the ruffles of the fabric around the hips. Yep, 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 yep. It was honestly such a pleasure because of my appreciation of this character to kind of just explore and craft and like refine and add different elements to this character because I could feed it. Yeah. This is the black one that you liked better. 
which I thought was a little excessive and almost like uh, gravitationally defiant. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Something like this, one man. Wrong move and that <laughs> <laughs> one wrong. That's what you love about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go f go flip, Harley. You know what I mean? Ooh, this has got to be second to last because it's one of my favorites. It doesn't just have a little bit of realistic Hatsune Miku in it for me, but it reminds me of that, uh, I don't remember if it was like Space Channel 5 or some shit like this, and there was some, I'll show you commercials for this, this freaking game later, where it just had like this girl dancing and shit, but, um... Yeah, no, no. I think that could even be put in the game. It's so harmless. This one's harmless too. It was supposed to be a steampunk iteration. But what I love the most is that in the chest area, you can see there's like a struggle with what they're doing on her stomach. But it almost looks like inflatable balloons, which I think it should fucking be. My Do you get what I'm saying? Part is the third arm. I love that robo arm. Like, like it would. Oh man, I'm gonna find a doll and put on screen. Oh, that this is what that can ooh, man. But oh shit, I forgot all about this one. This is the last one. This is the last one. But I like this one the in a wallpaper kind of way. This is the kind of you know you're t when I'm testing the fucking stable diffusion, calibrating it all right. This is the kind of shit that I'm just like, yeah yeah yeah. Let's refine this. You know what I mean? And I like I like the what. They really are. Even and if we were to look, you, they they're obviously not going to get beautiful models like this. But if we set that aside and just thought about the outfits, you could almost have them kind of shine or pulsate with like, you know, kind of, it's supposed to be neon lights or something shooting around on the inside. Think of it like a Fortnite skin. Maybe there's some sort of galaxy swirling around in there or some bullshit. You know what I mean? So cool. So cyber. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this one, which easily is my favorite. Do you want to know why, Dia? Because it's vampiric. I just, I just, it's so sad that we would have to wait for an Eastern studio that's cool to make a game that, you know, you can look good, damn. Just trying to look good. Thank you for, you know, watching. Uh, and like the video again, damn it. Yeah. Bye.